In this video, we're going to show you how to build an IC300 Pro. This save box will arrive, it weighs just under 50 kilograms, so we recommend you get two people to lift it. It's got a line of sellotape around the top, so we're just going to get a good pair of scissors to open it. So once you're into your box, you'll find a line of card on top, like this. And on there you're going to find a tools pack and the instructions. I'm just going to put that aside for one minute. So to save the bulk out of the box, what we're going to do is lie it down flat, grab each side of the polystyrene and just slow it out. So once your bike is out of the box, what we're going to do then is just grab the scissors again and just unpackage everything. It's important at this stage to remember that when you are unpackaging the bike, just to check all of the packaging completely low, because there are parts of the sellers out Once everything is unpackaged, what you should have is the assembly pack, the manual, the front and back stabilizers, the handlebars, the saddle, the seat post, the handlebar post, the left and right pedals, the bottle holder, the bottle, and the monitor and the instructions. So the first thing we're going to assemble is the stabilizers. We're going to start at the back of the bolt because that's the lightest. So grab the rear stabilizer and two bolts from your assembly pack and just feed them through the bottom and hold that. Like that. And then hold them in with your fingers and we're just going to lift the bike up. Add your two washers on. And just screw the nuts onto the side. Once your bolts are attached, we're just going to tighten the nuts on the top of the multi tool. Now we've assembled the rear stabiliser, what we're going to do is move on to the front. So if you grab your front stabiliser, that's one of the wheels on, then we're going to do the same way that we did the previous one. At this point, keep in mind that the front of the bike is very heavy, so we recommend you stand before you do it. And once again, once your bolts are attached, what you're going to do is just tighten the nuts around once. Now we're going to attach the seat post. So if you take the seat post like that and just slide the top half out of it, we're going to take this part and slot it into the frame. Bear in mind the hole is meant to be on the front, and you can see the numbers on the right hand side. With the seat post slotted in the frame, what we're going to do now is take some of the knobs that you find in your assembly pack. Choose your correct seat height and then just screw it in and you line the holes up. With the bottom half of your seat post securely fitted into the frame, what we're doing now is attach the top half. So make sure you line your numbers up again on the right hand side of these. And I'm just going to slide that in there. Should go a nice nasal line. And once you find the correct position, I'm just going to take a second knob that you find in your assembly pack and slot it in down here and tighten it there. Next stage, what we do is attach the saddle. So take saddle and your multi tool, and what you can do is slot the top half of the seat post into the hole in the saddle there, and then tighten the two next to the other side. It's important to note at this stage that the nut should be as tight as possible on both sides, so you have absolutely no movement whatsoever from the seat. Once your seat post is fully assembled, what we're going to do now is move on to the handlebar post. So quite simply take your handlebar post and the last remaining knob you'll get in your assembly pack and just slot that into the frame like that. Make sure your holes up the front, find the correct holes and just secure it with the knob. Now we're going to attach the handlebars. So if you take the four bolts that are in the handlebar post and just unscrew them, it's going to come to one side for me. So now to attach the handlebars, what we're going to do is take your handlebars and take the monitor bracket that you find in your assembly pack. So we're going to fit that onto there like that, just line up your holes. Keep in mind that your bracket will be facing away from you, so it needs to go this way. So I'm going to take one of the bolts and thread it through there like that just to secure it. And then just attach it to the other bolt. So once you've threaded one bolt through and it's loose down like that, you can just attach the rest of the bolts and tighten them with your anchor. So now that the handle bolts are attached, what we're going to do is attach the monitor. Before you do that, you're going to want to add the batteries into the back. So once we do that, you'll find four screws in the back of the monitor. So if you remove all them, then we're going to attach it to the monitor bracket there. There's also a hole in the middle, that's where your wires go. So just thread them through and then attach the screws. With the screws fitted into the back, we're just going to take our multi-tool and use the screwdriver ends just to tighten them. 
now that your monitor is securely fitted, what we can do now is just attach the wires. So if you take the sensor wire that you should find down here, stretch it up through the middle of the handlebars there, and line up the pins uh, on the monitor, and then just attach them there. And you should hear a little clip when it's attached, you know, it's secured there. And then the next part is to just attach the heart rate sensor. So you can take the male connection and the female connection and just them together. So what we're going to do now is attach these pedals to the crank. So we can take the right pedal, which is labelled with a little R, and attach to the right crank, which is marked with a little R as well. So we're just going to line up like that, and the right pedal attaches clockwise. So we're just going to turn that in there. Once your pedal's screwed in place, what you're going to want to do is just tighten it with your multi tool, and you want to tighten it until there's no thread showing whatsoever. It can be a bit tough if it's a new pedal, but if you just give it a little bit of force, it should go on. Now we're going to attach the left pedal, we're going to do the same thing as with the right hand side except we're going to attach it anti clockwise Finally what we're going to do is attach the bolt holder. So you're going to want to remove the two screws that are inside of the frame there. Thread them through your bottle holder. And then just reattach them, again using the screwdriver side of the monster. And once you've finished assembling your bike, what you want to do now is just test it. So just give it a gentle pedal, make sure there's no unusual noises, anything like that. Make sure your monitor is connected properly and that your heart rate sensor works. And also just go through your resistance levels to make sure you can feel a difference in resistance. So there you go, and that's how you assemble an RC300 Pro. If you want to purchase your own, you can do it by clicking here.